that are litmus tests to love. There are questions and there are answers love must answer. So in every love relationship, there are measures, there are things you must use to measure them. It may not come today, it may not come when the marriage is one year, it may not come when it's two years, it may come later in life. During the Japanese war of 1937, one picture became a symbol of national unity. If it is today, we say that picture went viral. And what is that picture? It was the picture of a seven-year-old boy who was carrying a dead girl by the back, strapped that child on the back. And the soldier watched that boy walk miles with that carcass on the back. And the, so and the shelling and mortar and bullets were flying. And this soldier stopped that small boy and said, throw that stuff away and run to safety. Throw that heavy stuff away so that you'll be free to run to safety. And that boy stood and told that soldier, she is not heavy, she is my sister. She is not what? Heavy. She is what? She's my sister. And that man began to cry because he understood the strength of love. Because love makes big burden light. That's what love does. It makes big burden light. There are people you look at today and what they are going through. And they still have a smile on their face because they love. There are even people who are still serving God. When you, when you look at them, you feel that God has not done much for them. But they are still happy because they love God. Love makes heavy burden what? Light. And the question today I ask you is, how far can you carry the unprofitable body of that man, that woman, when the chiefs are down? Unprofitable what? Body. How far can you go? How far can you carry that body? How far can you hang with that man when he loses his plumping job? In these days that our economy has turned women to sudden breadwinners overnight, will you still say his family? Will you still say, or you say, I didn't bargain for this? How far can you carry that to your beautiful wife if tomorrow? The doctors diagnose her of invasive breast cancer or smelling leg ulcer. How far can you go without complaining? Would you still say she's not heavy, she's family? How far can you stand with that man if tomorrow doctors tell you, oh, from all our tests, it's a case of oligospamia or azospamia. You can, she can father a child or even erectile dysfunction. How far can you carry the unprofitable body? Has God passed the little test of love concerning your life? While you were yet a sinner, he died for you. He didn't wait for what you contribute. While Jonathan was still a pushball, I say a pushball. I say what? A pushball. He had no palatial decorum. He was not trained in protocols. He, was, he had nothing. He had nothing. There was nothing he had. There was nothing about him. Some people say today, I wouldn't marry her because she's not this, she's not that, she's not this, she's not that, she's not that, she's not that. Then what is the love all about? Love make. Love picks from ordinary and makes something. Love is a lifter. Love is a helper. Love does not look for equal ability. If a prince marry a princess, what does it mean? But when a prince marry a commoner, that's when it's law. That's when there is impact. That's when there is a release. And that's why Jesus said, in my weakness you are made strong. There is something I have that you can't have, but I bring it in the name of law. Am I communicating this morning?